Welcome to yoga. My goodness. It's been a while since I've done yoga, actually, and I am also craving it in my body. So I'm super grateful to be here. Um, let's get started with just some breathing exercises. So if you will, come to a seated position. You can be seated wherever with your palms facing ideally up towards the ceiling. And in yoga, that's believed to be a gesture that you're open and that you're receptive. If you feel comfortable enough to do so, right away, close your eyes. And see what sort of thoughts are happening. And if there's anything negative, if there's anything that doesn't serve you, if there's anything that you feel like you're hanging on to that you might be able to let go or loosen up just a little bit, Make a choice and let go of that thought now. And one easy, surefire way to exist in a space without a lot of thoughts bogging you down, right? Without a monkey brain that sort of grabs your attention. One surefire way to be present is to just concentrate on your breathing. Without trying to change it just yet. Just notice how your breath is today. Maybe this is the first time that you've noticed it all day long. Take just a few inhales in and out, in through your nose if you can. And this is the time in the practice where your mind starts to go. No, 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 this is boring. Give me something else to think about. I don't want to think about the breath. So we'll give it something else to think about. I'm going to count you out. I'm going to inhale for a count of four and exhale for a count of four. So clear all of the air from your lungs. And when you're ready, big breath in for a count of one, two, three, four. Hold it at the top. Exhale out for four, three, two. One, hold the bottom. Inhale in for one, two, three, four, hold the top. Exhale out for four, three, two, one, hold at the bottom. Keep doing that for two more rounds. Now breathe fully, biggest breath you've taken all day long in through your nose, fill up your diaphragm, fill up your belly with air all the way up to the very tip top part of your lungs. Exhale, sigh out your mouth. And gently start to rotate in your head and neck, side to side, just drawing half moons on your chest with your chin. No big deal, nothing crazy, side to side. All the way back to a tall, as if the crown of your head is pulled by a string up towards the ceiling, sitting really tall. Flip your palms so the palms face down to your knees. And we'll do seated cat cow. So this moves with your breath too. And this is a great option if 
if you're not able to get on your knees right now at this point for regular cat cow. So seated cat cow, inhale in through your nose, broaden your collarbones, open your chest, tilt your gaze up toward the ceiling. And as you exhale, round out through your spine, all the way back, stretch out like a howling cat and drop your chin to your chest. Move with your breathing, inhale, pull your chest forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together, look up. Exhale, round out, chin to chest, chin to chest. Big breath in through your nose, look up. Exhale, out through your nose. This is a good way to work your entire spine, to loosen it up. Move with your breathing in and out through your nose. Long inhales pull you forward. And gentle exhale back. I encourage you to add side to side movements with your cat cow. You might rotate a little bit into your spine one direction and back. And the other. body is meant to move in all kinds of different ways. So if you can, close your eyes and allow yourself to listen to what it might crave. And truthfully, it might not be movement at all. It might look different for you. Yoga is not about judgment and nobody cares how you look. So do what feels good. And as you're ready, come back to a tall seated position and walk your fingertips out away from your butt. Drop your right hand down to your mat and reach your left arm all the way up to the ceiling and over it. Big inhale, both arms reach all the way up. And exhale, switch. Left hand down, right arm up and overhead. Big breath in, both arms reach up. And exhale, release them down by your sides. Extend your legs out long. Give your knees a little bit of a dance. Sit up tall into your spine, and if that's uncomfortable, grab a, a seat. This is one great way to, um, uh, what's the word? If you've got tight hips, is to elevate your seat just a little bit off the floor. So do that if you need to. When you're ready, big inhale, reach your arms wide and high to the sky, and exhale, twist to your right or left. Let your hands fall where they land. Let your legs relax and soften. The feet might flop out naturally to the side. Be mindful of your head and neck. Don't overdo it. We're just getting started. Mindful of your inhale, and when you're ready, big breath in, reach your arms up. Exhale, spinal twist the opposite direction. Close your eyes if you can. Next incoming breath, arms reach wide and high all the way back up and down by your side. Beautiful. Place the palms of your feet together, the soles of your feet together. And this diamond that you make with your legs can be wide like that, if that's good. It can be super tight like this, whatever, easy peasy. Sit up tall 
Big inhale, stretch and reach, arms wide and high. And exhale, soften into a reach forward, a forward fold. If you don't quite touch, feel free to use your props, your blocks, whatever you need. Bow your head. Relax your body. This is an intense one for the hamstrings, for your hips. Notice if one side of your body feels a little bit tighter than the other. Just make a note of that. There's no such thing as 100% balance, so that's okay. Just might need to treat it a little bit differently. Be here for just a few more breaths. Try to relax as best as possible. Beautiful. Place the soles of your feet down to your mat, your hands behind you, and a gentle windshield wiper into your knees from right to left. And when I say gentle, I mean gentle. Hang out. No need to rush. This is a wonderful counter stretch to the one that we just did and a great exercise for the SI joint, the sacroiliac joint. Beautiful, guys. Make your way onto your back. And at the bottom, hug your knees into your chest. Give them a gentle rock side to side, back and forth. Place your hands to the tops of your knees. And start to draw big circles on the ceiling with your knees. I guess not big, medium-sized circle on the ceiling with your knees. And you should feel that on your lower back. We call this the poor man's massage. Change directions if you haven't already with your circle. Slowly draw just your right knee into your chest and extend your left leg long. Let it fall to the mat. Lift your nose up toward your right knee and hold yourself there for just a breath. And all the way back down. Head is resting to your mat now. Bend your left knee and press it straight up toward the ceiling. Press your heels straight up toward the ceiling. Get strong in your body. Push your lower back into the floor and then lower your left leg down to hover above the mat just as much as you'd like. It doesn't have to go all the way down. Stay strong and hold wherever you feel it working the most for three, two, one, and drop your left leg to the mat. Let everything rest for just a moment and pull your right leg across your body. So twist it over and reach your right arm out to the side for a full body twist. Let yourself totally relax in a twist. This is a, the type of movement that if we don't do intentionally, that we rarely do. Ah, 
eyes can close. Turn your breathing as if it's all that matters in and out through your nose. Come back to center, hug both knees into your chest. See how your lower back feels. If it needs a little movement, then continue your poor man's massage or maybe a little rock back and forth side to side. Hug your left knee into your chest and reach your right leg long. Let it fall to the mat. Let it stretch to the mat. Lift your nose up toward your left knee and hold, hold, hold. This works the upper trapezius muscle. For three, <clears throat> two, and one. Lower your head back down. Bend your right knee and it press your heels straight up toward the ceiling on your right leg. And this right here might be enough, or maybe you drop it 10 degrees toward the floor. Maybe you lower it more until it's hovering just right over the mat. Lower back presses into the mat, stay strong. Keep your feet flexed. Strong body, strong core for three, two, one, let your leg fall to the mat. Left knee pulls across your body for a spinal twist and extend your left arm out to the side. If you have a block or a prop handy and your left knee doesn't touch the floor like mine does not, then you can slide your block underneath it to give it a little more support. Rest where you can. Let go of the tiny muscles around your eyelids and your eyebrows. Soften awesome. just a little bit more. Beautiful. Rotate. Roll back onto your back. Pull both knees into your chest and see what your lower back needs. Maybe a little bit of movement. Poor man's massage. Maybe no movement. Just a gentle rock. Whatever feels right. Beautiful. Place the bottom of your feet down to the mat with your knees bent. Feet to the mat, knees bent. Tuck your chin into your chest just a little bit. Take a big inhale in through your nose. As you exhale, lift your hips for bridge pose. Strong glutes. Strong glutes. Once again, close your eyes. If you would like for this to be a resting pose versus an active pose, then again, you can use your block and place it beneath your hips or a pillow or whatever you have handy. Either way, we'll be here for three, two, one, lower your hips down to your mat and take your time with that action. Just like we did earlier, windshield wiper your knees. Easy does it, right to left. Bridge pose one more time. Soles of your feet down to your mat, chin tucks to your chest just a little. Take a big breath in. Exhale, lift your hips high, lift them away from the earth, up. Good. 
close your eyes, soften where you can and stay strong in the lower half of your body. So almost there, keep holding. You've got this. If there's anything you've got, it's this. For three, two, one, hips rest back down to your mat. And a gentle windshield wiper right to left. Easy. Beautiful, friends. Carefully roll your way onto one side and all the way up to your knees. And those of you who are challenged with knee issues right now, stay on your back and I'll show you what to do. Those of you who are not, come up to your knees. Okay, left hand right underneath your gaze, right underneath your nose. Right hand twist up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, thread the needle, right arm slides under left and it's a shoulder stretch. So lean into your right shoulder and place your head down. And if you're on your back, all this is right arm across your body. Same stretch, just a little bit more gentle. If you're on your knees and this isn't quite enough, if you're feeling like just a little bit more is needed, then walk your left fingertips straight forward in front of you. Good. Use your left hand to carefully push yourself back up. And those on your back, just swiftly, simply switch sides. If you're on your knees, inhale, left arm high this time. Exhale, thread the needle, slide your left arm under your right. body craves more of those of you on your knees. Walk your right hand straight in front of you. And use your right hand to push yourself all the way back up. And we'll all meet in a seated position. Take your time. There's no rush in yoga, ever, ever. Beautiful, friends. Breathe in, roll your shoulders up along your ears, and exhale, slide them down your back two more times. Big breath in, lift up. Exhale, down. Last one, take it slow, don't rush it. Beautiful. Press your legs out in front of you, soles of your feet down to the floor. This one I want you to take your time with because it can be a lot. So see how your body feels? It's similar to bridge pose, the one that we just did, but it's reverse table. All right. So fingertips point toward straight in front of you. And as you inhale, prepare. As you exhale, lift your hips away from the mat. And what will happen is your head will feel inclined to drop backwards, maybe. Test it, see if it feels all right to do that. If it doesn't, then keep it lifted up. And we're staying strong here. For five. Lift your hips a little bit higher if you've got it. For four, three, two, one. Lower your hips back down. 
Extend your legs out straight. We're gonna pick up the heat just a little bit. So if this one's not so good, feel free to do the one we just did. This is reverse plank. Fingertips, same direction, facing forward. Big breath in to prepare. Exhale, point your toes down toward the floor and lift your hips. See if your head wants to drop back. We're here for five. Feel free to do reverse table. Four, three, two, and one. Gorgeous. Lower your hips all the way back down. Beautiful, friends. However you get there, make your way up to a stand. Take your time. And hopefully your body feels loose. Er. You need a chair? <laughs> Okay, friends. So this next pose is called ragdoll, and it's wonderful for dealing with stress in the body. So take your feet as wide as your mat. That's a great place to start, feet as wide as your mat. Big inhale, reach your arms wide and high. And as you exhale, a small, slight bend into your knees and lower yourself down into a forward fold. Your hamstrings might start to scream a little bit at you here. If that's the case, bend your knees more. Cross your hands to opposite elbows, grab opposite elbows. And all you're doing is letting your body sway gentle back and forth, back and forth. Let your head hang heavy. Let all of the muscles of your face fall away from the bone. So the reason why this pose works so well is any time your head's below your heart like this, it sends a signal to your brain, to your heart, that your brain is receiving plenty of blood and that it can slow down its beating. So it's wonderful for things like anxiety. A gentle inversion. And maybe for you, it might not feel good to have any movement at all. That's okay, you can hang heavy. We'll be here for just a few more breaths. Three, two, one. Bend into your knees and roll yourself up to stand slowly. And since you've been upside down a while, extra slowly. Beautiful. Feet step about hip distance apart. Take a breath and reach your arms all the way up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, dip to your right or to your left. Doesn't matter. Come back to center, take it the opposite direction. Come back to center, lower your palms to heart center in front of your chest. Feet are hip distance apart if they're not already. And what I want you to do before we do this next movement, which is called chair pose, is recruit this muscle right here. So a lot of what happens when we take a seat or when we walk upstairs, when we do motions where we're lifting our legs, is that the glute muscles don't fire up right away. So I want you to, to fire them up without even, we're not even using them really, we're just standing. So fire them up, everything gets really tight here in the back, because that's what you need to help protect your knees. Everything's really tight. You've got a soft little bend in your knee here. Take a breath in through your nose. Keep everything tight. And as you exhale, sit back toward your heels and press your glutes back behind you for chair pose. And it's just a little bit. You're in control of how far you go. You can be way down here. You can be up here just a little bit. Shift your weight back toward your heels, away from your toes. Recruit the glutes. Three, two, one, all the way up to stand. A 
And one more time, but we're gonna turn up the heat. Arms reach up and exhale, glutes are strong, sit back in the chair. Hold, 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 hold. Four, three, two, and one. All the way back up. Wonderful, guys. Shift your weight into one foot, right or left, doesn't matter. Sole of your in, in, whoop, take two. inside of your opposite foot comes to your ankle, and your big toe can be down to your mat, just like that. And this is tree pose. Palms will pull the heart. And balance is everything, right? Balance improves with time, so play with it. Because right now you might be able to lift one leg a little bit higher on your calf. And wonderful switch sides. Big toe to touch and start. And it might be here all day today. That's that's perfect. Still balance or play around with your, with your balance. back to hip distance apart. Place your hands down to your knees. So we're gonna do all three versions of cat cow, just so you guys have them. So this is standing cat cow. It's exactly the same as we did when we were seated. So take a big breath in, drop your belly down, C-shape your spine, look up toward the ceiling. And as you exhale, round up through your spine, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, drop your belly, curl your spine, look up. And exhale, round up through your spine. Do that two more times. And last one. Beautiful friends. Let's step back to downward facing dog. If you don't feel like doing downward facing dog, on um, the floor, then feel free to do it on the chair. Okay. Here's how it looks like on a chair. And the point of this is to feel a stretch through your underarms, okay. which you will, <laughs> and to feel a stretch through the back of your legs. If it's too intense, feel free to bend your knees. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. And if you're ready to do downward facing dog, if you're feeling on the floor, then step back when you're ready. And again, this is a wonderful pose to help with stress, anxiety, stress in the body. Because it is an inversion, a gentle inversion of your head's below your heart. And either one, if you're doing downward facing dog in a chair or if you're on the floor, then begin to pedal a little bit in your legs. Lift one heel at a time. If you're on the floor and you need a break, then drop down to your knees, let them hit at the same time. If you're standing up and you need a break, then simply step your feet in toward the chair a little bit more. Wherever you are, we'll be here for just a few more breaths. Pop back into your downward facing dog if you did leave it. And if you're feeling saucy, then one leg might reach up toward the ceiling. So up to you. Always up to you. 
and chose to do that and switch sides. Beautiful, guys. Take your time. We're coming all the way back to stand. Take your time. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, a little half sun salutation just to get the blood pumping and then we'll take it down. We'll relax, we'll meditate, and that'll be the end of class. So, knees always have a micro bend in them when we're standing. Big breath in, reach your arms high. Exhale, keep it strong and swan dive. Straight arms, straight spine, strong glutes all the way down. Breathe in, halfway lift. Take the round out of your spine. Look forward. Exhale, forward fold, knees bend. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Strong arms, wide and high, reach them up. Exhale, palms to heart center. One more time, big inhale, reach. Gorgeous, stay strong, strong core. Arms reach out to the sides, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, take the round out of your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Last time, inhale, spread and reach your arms wide and high, rise to stand. And palms to heart center. Wonderful, guys. Okay, let's bring it down to your mat and you can have a seat for meditation if you'd like. <clears throat> oh, goodness. So, wherever you are, find a, a nice resting pose. So, you could be on your back, you could be seated, whatever feels good. Just find a comfortable seated position or resting position. If you tend to have lower back issues, then keep your knees bent. And hands might fall to your lap, to your belly, to your sides. But one thing that I ask is that you come completely present. And what's the surefire way to do that? It's to concentrate on your breathing. That's it. It's your only job at this moment. There's nothing else needed of you. You're just breathing. Feel the reverberation of the yoga practice in your limbs. You might feel a little tingling sensation in your fingertips. going to do a color meditation. If you've never done this before, no big deal. Just follow my guide. And if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay too. Just let my voice sort of fizzle into the background. So close your eyes. And let your body grow soft. So that means shoulders, fingertips, elbows. Knees, ankles, shins. Crown of your head, ears, eyes, eyebrows, eyelids, all grow soft. The tiny muscles surrounding your jaw, your temples, and your hair. <coughs> Excuse me. Grow soft. Once your body's completely relaxed, all of the tiny muscles. And it's just your breath that's moving in. I want you to summon to mind an area of your body that might need some healing. It could be anywhere. I want you to imagine 
imagine a color, any color that you see as healing. Let this color wash over you. From head to toe, but especially around the area that you need the most. Picture it like a circular light of color that's surrounding this area that's warming it, that's soothing it, and that's healing it. You can relax and let it take over and let it do all of the work for you. grow just a little bit more, expanding from this area, providing more fuzzy healing energy traveling up and down your body. Until all you see in your mind's eye is this beautiful color of your choice. Now, in your mind's eye, I want you to picture the face of someone that you love, of someone that's easy to love. And what makes them easy to love? Think about that for a moment. beautiful that this person is in your life or was in your life. And I want you to fully acknowledge that you are this person for someone else too. When someone else thinks about who is the easiest person to love in the world, they picture your face. Saw a smile tug at your lips because why not? And when you're ready, reach your arms up and overhead. And then carefully, if you're laying down, roll onto your right side and gently push yourself up to seated. If you're seated, then just relax. Arms down by your side. Body soft and strong. Pull your palms to heart center in front of your chest. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. Always my pleasure. My heart to yours. Namaste.